Hi, my name is Benjamin Drillings, and today I'm going to be talking about the third, the seventh lab for microcontrollers, the LCD lab. And uh, in this lab, we had to go over three programs: one recording a, um, a four-bit LC, uh, four-bit mode LCD. Second was eight-bit mode LCD, and the third one was we got to choose, but I chose four-bit mode LCD to with a four-bit binary input. Um, so here we go. Uh, this right here is the four-bit mode LCD. Um, there's a delay of one second between it flashing on it, the hello and flashing off. Additionally, it's all uppercase. Just remember that because the, um, the A bit mode is lowercase and flashes with one on with one second and then delays off for half a second. So um, it's seen here and we can visualize what's going on here using this flow chart over here. Um, we are we have a four bit mode, we're initializing the LCD, we're displaying it as hello, delay a second, clear, and delay another second. So there's that. Um, now if I go back here, I remove the file. Yes. And then I add the second one. I can build it, I can load it, and I have a reset you'll see that the lowercase hello comes on and noticeably is quicker on flashing back on the other one. This is the 8-bit mode. Um, and it can be seen here. And then you can see this being visualized over in our flow chart. 4-bit um, uh, mode, and there was, figure eight was our 8-bit, yeah. 8-bit mode, initialize the LCD, output hello, delay a second, clear LCD, and delay another half second. So, yeah, that can be seen there. And if we actually go up here, back here, you'll notice there's also a difference in the circuitry of these two. I kept them the same, actually, um, using the 8-bit. So the circuit that you see is for actually the... Um, the SDM, the uh, the input with the 8-bit connected, but it runs through all of these circuits. So this dip switch connected with this can run through this right here, this right here, and this right here. So this is the circuitry for the 4-bit uh, mode. As you can see, it's only using the last four pins, PB7, um, PB4, PB... 5, PB6, and PB7. P PC4, PC5, PC6, and PC7. And this is PB7, so something different altogether. Um, and over here, for the 8-bit, it uses all 8, but it adds now the first 4 that we missed. And then here, you can see that we're going back to utilizing our, uh, our last 4, so PC4 to PC7, and then PC8 to PC11 I set as... Um, for the dip switches. And um, the way that I was able to get the LCD reads it in ASCII, so all I had to do was shift the input um, to the least significant nibble, as you can see in the code, code here. All I had to do was I had to, <clears throat> I had to shift it, mask it, and then add it with three zero because it would give me the ASCI version of that and it works for numbers zero through nine um, and then it starts giving me weird symbols and you'll see that in a second um, so let's remove that yes source group one add existing file and let's customize it so now I'm gonna load I'm gonna, our build I'm gonna load and now you can see right here, I'm flashing on zero. Now the way that I have it configured is the one is the least significant bit and the eight is the most significant bit. I know usually it's not like that, but just for my sake, it was easier for me to reach the buttons. So as you can see, a one flashes on right there. If I do eight. It'll flash on if I do that. See, this is when you start to get those weird decimals because ASCI 
uh, after nine, it starts to go to uh, characters. So yeah, and then if I do all of them down, I get question mark. So yeah, cool stuff. Um, going into, oh, so for, for here, right here, these are actually connected to pull-up resistors. So essentially, whenever you get a one, depending on what the, what is fed back to here, it will then output something else here. We also have a potentiometer here. This works for all of them. It can dim and brighten it, um, just to show you that that's connected all right. <clears throat> I also found that um, the RSW port, where is it? R, the RW port right there doesn't need to be connected for the 8-bit or the 4-bit to work. I just ran the all three of these without having it connected. 4-bit, 8-bit, and 4-bit with a 4-bit input, and it didn't. you didn't even need it. Um, I'm not sure why that, that is the way it is. I just put it to ground over here. As you can see, this, this green wire is connected to RSW. It's or RW, and then it feeds back and is connected to ground. So yeah. Um, additionally, the only difference thing that we did from the textbook, other than, you know, make this um, an input, user input, is we just reuse this 16 megahertz uh, cystic cycle, um, rather than the one that they gave us. So yeah, um, that's all. That's the visual representation of it, and uh, I hope this was shorter than most of the videos I do, and I hope that this was uh, as educational. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.